This is the brand new Akaya Orbit. It's a GNU grinder that was designed in partnership with Weber Workshops, who I'm sure you know have created grinders like the EG1 and the Key. Now, I was lucky enough to hop in on the first run of units limited to the US, and I did pay the full retail price of this grinder, which is $1,350, plus 40 bucks of shipping. This is by far the most expensive grinder I've ever owned and used. Now, before we get into it, it looks like the majority of you aren't subscribed, so if you are new to the channel and like all things coffee, do consider dropping a like and subscribing for more high quality coffee content. Also, leave a comment below on what you'd like to know more about this grinder for the full review. So since I was an early adopter, this first shipment was considered the Eclipse Editions, and there was an extra little gift box included. In it, we get a hat, we get an enamel pin, a 53mm dosing cup, an anti-static brush, a brew notebook, and a serialized number plate, which is kind of cool. I got number 37 of 500. My friend Raymond from FDM by Optical Blitz got number 1 of 500. Extra cool. Online, they do also state that you get an extended 18-month product support. So at the time of recording, it's been just a couple days since I've actually first unboxed this grinder. I've had just a little bit of time to play with it and put together some initial thoughts into a more cohesive format. Now, I also did wait a few more days because I actually needed to purchase a 2021 model Akaya Lunar. Yes, the old Lunar does not work with this grinder. The website does state that it'll get a firmware update in the future, but in an effort to get this video out to you guys as soon as I could, I went ahead and purchased a 2021 model Akaya Lunar, effectively making this closer to like a $1,600 grinder. Now, very quickly, I'm just gonna run through some of the specs. It's a 64 millimeter flatbird grinder using Mazur 33M burrs and can take SSP ones as well. It has a 200 watt motor and has an adjustable 600 to 1500 RPM range. It has a lot of unique smart feature integrations and grind by weight technology using the Akaya Lunar scale, which is probably the highlight of this grinder. Now, first impressions on the build are that it is extremely premium feeling, like more so than any other grinder I've personally owned. This thing feels like a space gray MacBook. I do like the included magnetic strips that stick onto the dosing cup and the lunar, and the magnetic attachment is very satisfying to use, and it just makes things look nice and aligned. The grinder has a very clean overall design, everything's machined very well, and everything just feels good to use. Even the little knocker here is pretty satisfying to use. One thing I'm not a huge fan of is that there is a little touch point sticker here, and simply because it's a sticker. Another thing I do wish was different was that the hopper was metal instead of plastic. For a grinder where this piece sort of sticks out very prominently, the glossy flat black plastic feeling is just not very premium and feels a little bit cheap. A nice metal one would have definitely been cool to see here. So now let's talk a little bit about the smart integrations. Firstly, you can do most of the programming on the grinder itself without the need for the lunar or phone app. There are different colors that this LED button will light up in to indicate the different grinding modes, aka the different presets and changeable RPMs. The app itself definitely makes it a little bit more clear and includes a nice graphic generated with each grind, telling you in seconds how long the grind took as well. Without the Lunar, aka just in single dosing mode, the grinder will grind through the dose and then do an automatic purge at a higher 2000 RPM, first forwards and then backwards, if I'm not wrong. With the Lunar attached to it, you can grind by weight. So in this shot, I'm just going to be dumping in a bunch of beans and hitting go, and it'll dispense the exact amount, or at least very close to, that I wanted. In this case, 16 grams. Now, I have noticed occasionally there is some inconsistency. I had one dose that came out closer to 17 grams, but Steve from the Akaya team told me that the grinder adjusts for the next dose and will aim to get closer to the planned dosage, which I generally found to be true. In most cases with the grind by weight technology, the doses were within 0.2 grams of my 16 gram goal. There is a little bit of static, but it's really not that bad, despite not doing any RDT at all. Even in the YouTube live session I did recently with this grinder, I went through about 100 grams of beans and it really wasn't bad. Initial shot impressions are, it's good. It's sweet, it has a high level of clarity, nothing was overwhelmingly acidic, the finish was nice and not astringent at all, and it had a medium-ish texture, not quite as rich of a body feel versus shots I get on a conical bird grinder. And those are going to be sort of my first quick thoughts and first impressions of this new grinder by Akaya in collaboration with Weber Workshops. I'll be getting into much, much more detail in a few weeks time for the full review, covering this grinder for both espresso and filter. Once again, be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below so that I can answer those for the full review. And as always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.